So I have a customer in the store, and she has a Tonto that she believes was owned by Admiral Yamamoto from Japan. She wants $2,000 for it, and I'm thinking it could be worth a lot more if that's true. So I've called up my buddy Mike. He's going to cut to the heart of this matter and make sure this is not all pointless. Hey, Mike, how's it going? How you been? Good. Well, this young lady right here has this. Okay. You guys have a knack for always getting something interesting from time to time, and I have a pretty good idea what this is. Okay. But I'll need to take the handle off so we can see who made it. Can you take the handle off? Yeah, absolutely. What do you think this piece is? Well, I know it's a Tonto, right? Mm-hmm. It is a Tonto. Uh, this is very interesting. So this Tonto is a real piece of history. This piece was made by a swordsmith called Hideaki one of the most prolific swordsmiths of the early 1900s. As you can see here, writing on the tang, it says Mikasa. The Mikasa was Admiral Togo's flagship during the Russo-Japanese War in the early 1900s when he defeated the Russians. Okay. So when the Mikasa was decommissioned, Hideaki made a special order of tantos made out of the gun barrel of the Mikasa, signifying the great victory. So does it have anything to do with Admiral Yamamoto? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. So Admiral Yamamoto was a big, big traditionalist. He had a great respect for it, Admiral Togo and for what this Tanto represented and the fact that they're actually made from the Mikasa. So he was known to give these to some of his lieutenants that he used to mentor. So this was most likely a gift from Yamamoto to a lieutenant or somebody like that? There is a possibility that this could be his too because he did have one in his own personal collection. But there's no way we can prove that. Uh, we would have to backtrack the history of where this came from, that's all. Okay. So how much would something like this go for? It's worth $10,000. And if we can prove that it actually belonged to Admiral Yamamoto, that could change everything. $20,000 is not out of the question. Wow. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Can you put it back together? <laughs> Gonna charge you. <laughs> Can you imagine being a young lieutenant and having somebody as well-known as Yamamoto giving you something of such a historical nature? If you were that person, you would be like, wow, this is like my treasure. Okay, you're good. All right, have a good one, man. Thanks. So he said it was worth like 10,000, which is more than what you came in here asking for. So um, I can give you five. No, he said it might be Admiral Yamamoto's, and if it is, it's worth 20000 So I'd want to do more research and see if it really is. I mean, like, would you take six? No, I'm sorry. Thank you, though. I could go $65,000. $20,000 is a lot of money. OK, if you, you know, do your research, come back and see me. Maybe we'll make a deal. Awesome. Thank you so much. 6500 just wouldn't cut it if I know it's worth twenty grand. <laughs> <laughs>